Well, I think that we are still going to have some challenges ahead of us. We are about to enter the third quarter, which is by far the worst of the four quarters of the calendar year, not only in terms of price uh, advance, but also in frequency with which the market has risen. Uh, I, I think that as a result, we're probably going to have some concerns surrounding the second quarter earnings, which will begin in about a week or so. Uh, expectations right now by consensus estimates are for a 45% year-on-year decline. Um, maybe we don't end up uh, falling further in terms of price because earnings expectations are so low. But I do think that should we get additional cases of COVID, and we have commentary by corporate management that that could adversely affect corporate profits in the months ahead, then I think that could add some additional pressure to stock prices as we move into August and September. I think that Monday, that today is basically a snap back from the very uh, sharp sell-off that we had on Friday. I would not be surprised if we had conditional, uh, additional weakness take place in the next day or two. Uh, granted, the market does tend to do well in the day just before the 4th of July holiday, uh, but I think that is an aberration. I think that we are likely to see additional pressure in the weeks ahead. I think investors should be prepared for a very slow decline in the unemployment rate. Uh, the most recent uh, claims data that we got last week uh, was surprising in that it did not come down as much as investors had anticipated. So uh, we, it could take a while before we actually start to see a uh, unemployment rate that even comes close to where we were prior to this pandemic event. If we find that many states selectively go from green back to yellow, saying that we really can only have outdoor seating at restaurants, etc. Yeah, I think that is going to pop the balloon that was just beginning to be reflated. Uh, I, I think that, that investors are going to be concerned. Those on Main Street will be concerned as well uh, that, you know, what's going to happen is that it's going to be a dragged out economic recovery. Right now, our forecast is for about a 33% decline in second quarter GDP, but then rising about 25% in the next quarter. If we see that number actually start to come down, that could be a concern. Correction that started on June 8th, uh, that went down a little more than 7% for both the S&P and the Dow. Uh, we have sort of recovered a little bit from that, but I believe that we will end up with a conclusion to this correction that will bring the S&P down to about the 2850 level, which should be close to a 12% decline. So it would be a, a shallow correction, as I call it, not the beginning of a new bear market. I think that uh, the March 23rd low is likely the low for this bear market, and we will either stay above that low for six months and therefore deem this a new bull market, or we end up getting back to a new all-time high even before that six-month period and therefore tag it as a new bull market. There have been three times since World War II that the market came back from a sub-40% bear market in seven months or fewer rather than the more average 14 months. So we could end up seeing a new all-time high by year end.